Hey guys, welcome back to Civil Learning Online. And guys, today in this video, I'm gonna design a rectangular channel, which is a numerical from the fluid mechanics. And guys, if you are facing any kind of difficulty in reciting the formula about the design of the circular sewers, then you will have the link of that video in the description as well as a numerical based upon the design of circular sewer. And guys, uh, here I am going to design a rectangular channel and uh, without any further delay, let's get started. So before starting the solution of this numerical, let me first read out the question for you guys and then we will proceed with the solution. And the question says a rectangular channel of 5 meter has a depth of 1.5 meter means the width of the rectangular channel is 5 meter and its depth is 1.5 meter similarly the slope of the bed channel is 1 is to 1500 it is desired to increase the discharge to maximum by changing the dimension of the section means we need to increase the discharge of the given rectangular channel by changing its dimension For constant area of cross section, slope of bed and roughness of the channel. Find the new dimension of the channel and increase in discharge. Assume other values if not given. Means here some values are missing in this question which we have to assume and we have to keep constant. The cross sectional area, slope of the bed as well as the roughness of the channel while designing this uh, given rectangular channel. So guys, uh, let us move toward the solution of this numerical. So let us proceed with the solution and if you ask me to draw a rough sketch of this rectangular channel then it will be of somewhat this manner. Here the uh, depth of the channel is 1.5 meter as well as the width of the channel is 5 meter. So in very first step what we need to do is we have to calculate the area of this channel and before that let us first write down the given what we are provided in the question and we are provided that width of channel B equals to 5 meter now depth of channel d equals to 1.5 meter similarly now we can calculate the area of the channel area of flow so therefore area of flow will be equals to b multiplied by d means 5 times 1.5 will be equals to 7.5 meter square now after calculating the area of flow, uh, we are provided with the slope of bed and the slope of bed is 1 upon 1500. Now, let us assume that here in the question it is mentioned that assume other value if not given. So let us assume that the changes constant is 55. So we can write it here. Let changes constant equals to let this be denoted by c equals to 55 now guys uh, let us calculate the weighted parameter because we need to calculate the hydraulic mean depth because we have a formula for finding the discharge that is q equals to a c upon m times i as per the when we use the changes constant for calculating the discharge this is the area of the channel and c is the changes constant m is the hydraulic mean depth and i is the bed slope so we need to calculate the hydraulic mean depth and for that hydraulic mean depth we have the formula that uh, hmd is equal to area upon weighted perimeter so first of all let us calculate the weighted perimeter so it is very easy to calculate the weighted perimeter of rectangular channel and let the weighted perimeter be denoted by p and p will be equals to the portion of the this rectangular channel which is weighted by the water and 
we have denoted that depth is d so similarly and the perimeter will be equals to d plus b plus this side depth so two times depth means this depth plus this depth and this width so we can write here depth plus width is denoted by b plus depth now put the value of uh, these terms we have which we are already provided in the question depth is 1.5 meter plus width is 5 meter plus 1.5 meter and total we will get 8 meter now after getting the value of the weighted perimeter we need to cal calculate the hydraulic mean depth so we have h m d equals to it is noted by small m equals to area upon weighted perimeter and we have cal already calculated the area of flow which is 7.5 meter square divided by p is 8 meter so on solving this we will get the value of hydraulic mean depth at 0 0.937 and here uh, this will be in meter because the uh, unit of area is meter square and the unit of perimeter is meter so meter square and meter one meter is got cancelled and we get a uh, unit of hmd equals to 0 0.937 meter now let us calculate the discharge and we will get we have we have discharge q equals to ac times root under mi so area of the channel area of flow is 7.5 times uh, c it says is constant which we have assumed to be 55 multiplied by root under and the hydraulic mean depth is 0 0.937 multiplied by the slope of the bed is 1 upon 1500 now calculate the value of this term and we will get the discharge and which comes out to be 10 point three one cubic meter per second now guys uh, we, uh, as per the question it is mentioned that we have to calculate we have to change the dimension of the section to get the maximum discharge for constant area of the cross section slope of the bed and roughness of the channel so again we need to assume the dimensions of the uh, given rectangular section uh, so that our discharge will be maximum and uh, in further step we will do that so guys now what we will do here as per the question we are asked to calculate the maximum uh, dimension for the maximum discharge and keeping our area constant so we need to assume that our new dimension so let for maximum discharge new dimension new dimensions b b dash equals to weed of channel similarly d dash equals to depth of channel for maximum discharge now what we will have here we will have area equals to b dash multiplied by d dash and which is going to be equals to 7.5 meter square because we have to calculate the dimension of the channel for maximum discharge keeping its area constant and in the previous uh, previously we have calculated that the area was 7.5 meter now we have to keep the area constant for maximum discharge to calculate the new dimension so which is constant so therefore we will have here b dash times d dash equals to 7.5 meter square now what we can do here for maximum discharge our weed must be two times depth this is the condition for the maximum discharge in case of rectangular channel later i will add uh, another example based upon the design of the trapezoidal channel for the maximum discharge uh, we will uh, see that example in uh, upcoming videos so first let us move proceed with this we have now what we can do we can uh, replace this b dash with two times d dash so from here we will have two times d dash times d dash equals to 7.5 now from here we can calculate the value of d dash which is going to be 1.93 
six meter. Similarly, d dash will get d dash square and d dash square and the 7.5 is divided by this 2 and after dividing we need to put the root then we will get this if you ask me then how this came then see here 2 times d dash square because d dash multiplied with d dash got d dash square times 7.5 and further it will become d dash square equals to 7.5 divided by 2 now after dividing uh, bring this root then we will get the value of d dash to be 1.936 meter now after getting the value of d dash calculate the value of b dash and we have b dash equals to 2 times d dash so for maximum discharge 2.936 from here we will get the value of b dash equals to 3.87 meter now guys we have come to know now we have uh, d dash equals to 1.8 nine four meter similarly b dash equals to three point eight seven meter now after getting the new dimension let us calculate the weighted perimeter so we will have weighted perimeter equals to let this be denoted by p dash equals to d dash plus b dash plus d dash so we will have here one point nine four plus 3.87 plus 1.94 on solving this we will get the value of weighted perimeter equals to 7.75 meter now after getting the value of weighted perimeter let us calculate the hydraulic mean depth and we have again hm d equals to area upon weighted perimeter and uh, for the maximum discharge condition also area is kept uh, is to be maximum so the area we have calculated previously which was 7.5 meter square divided by weighted perimeter so we will get 0 0.967 this is our hmd now guys uh, what we have to remember that now uh, hmd we have HMD corresponding to, co corresponding to the maximum discharge D dash by 2 means half of the depth so we have calculated the value of D dash as 0 0.94 divided by 2 these are the conditions which one need to remember while calculating the uh, numerical based upon the rectangular channel when we are asked to calculate the maximum discharge so for maximum discharge condition we have to remember that our HMD is going to be half of our depth so it is going to be 0 0.97 meter two things we have to remember for maximum discharge our b dash was equal to two times d dash and our hmd is half of the depth in case of rectangular channel so therefore our maximum discharge is going to be maximum discharge is going to be q dash equals to ac times root under m times i and we have to keep the area constant so 7.5 times change is constant is 55 times root under m means hydraulic mean depth is 0 0.97 we will get 0 0.97 or you can keep it as 0 0.967 it is same so 97 multiplied by 1 upon 1500 so from here we will get q dash equals to 10.47 cubic meter per second now guys uh we have come to know this is our maximum discharge uh, by keeping the area constant now we can uh, calculate the increase in discharge because uh, we have already calculated the discharge for the given dimension of the rectangular uh, section which was given in the question and this is the discharge when our dimension is changed for the maximum discharge so we can uh, now calculate the increase in discharge so increase in discharge will be given by q dash minus q and we have already calculated the value as 10.47 minus our value of discharge which we have calculated previously is here 10.31 meter square cubic meter per second so minus 10.31 cubic meter per second and from here we will get 0 0.16 cubic meter per second i hope you understood this numerical and guys soon i will be back with the new numerical based upon the design of the trapezoidal channel
टिल देन स्टे सेफ एंड टेक केयर ऑफ योर सेल्फ